we are going to see now how to work with videos and so like to read video from file to save video and to use the webcam so first we import cv2 import numpy as np then we define our video capture so cap equals cv2 dot video capture and zero in this case zero it refers to the first webcam on the computer i have just one so from it's zero if you have more you can use zero for the first one for the second and so on then we need to define a loop so while true red frame equals cap dot read so first you define your camera then you start the loop so you will start gathering data frame by frame like if it was a lot of images one by one so for the camera usually it's like 25 to 30 images per second some better camera have has 60 images per second so called frames per second and so we define the frame then let's show this frame cv2 dot in show so it's the same as we did for the images because we are showing actually image by image frame and then frame then cv2 dot weight key let's say one before for the image we use weight key zero but zero was okay when you had to show only one image because it frees but in this case we have the loop so it says okay it takes the frame from the camera it shows us the frame then wait in this case one millisecond go back start again the loop get the second frame and so on and gives us the illusion that it's a video but actually we're working on on each frame each time wait key one then uh, cap dot release cv2 dot destroy all windows let's run the code here it's me again i'm looking my, my webcam is here but my screen is there that's it so let's see something else okay as i said this is milliseconds so if for example i say wait 1000 milliseconds so one second we see that it's like taking picture of me each second and another thing if i close it doesn't work so i need to stop the code here uh, again uh, i will put again one and i want to enable the window to be closed so here i define key equals cv2 weight key and after if key equals 27 
can work. So the loop takes the frame, shows the frame, waits for us to press a key. If we, if we don't press anything, it goes again back and start again the loop. If we press something, in this case key 27 is the ask key on the keyboard. In this case breaks the loop so it doesn't go back, goes it continues caps.release and in this case caps.release release the webcam and cv2.destroy windows so it close the windows so now let's try our oh, this doesn't work anyway I, I don't care now we press x x on the keyboard and it closes and you can do something else like we did for the image like for example to convert it to grayscale so we will have gray scale equals cv2 dot cvt color we want to convert the frame cv2 dot uppercase color underscore bgr to gray then cv2 dot in show gray scale is just the title so you can put whatever you want and then gray scale let's show the video okay i have both the other one was in my other screen and as you can see they are actually the same um okay let's uh, carry on now how to read a video from the file the code is really similar let's now delete this grayscale part let's delete this one and here instead of the number we define a string and we put the name of the file where our video is I have I downloaded a file from internet and you can download actually the same file from the link that I will, I will put in the description and this is red pandas no so I will just call it and it, it is in the same folder where the python file is so red underscore panda underscore snow dot mp4 and now I run the video this video is going really fast because we need to define how long it has to wait so 25 frames per second let's make it wait around 30 milliseconds after each frame more or less should be fine Um, I will take with the window player to see if we are close somehow okay it's it's not really important now okay this basically to read the video is almost the same as for the camera now that we have the video let's do some editing in this case let's do some flipping of the video so we have frame 2 equals uh, cv2.flip frame and we can define 
two type of flipping the one is vertical and horizontal first we will start with the vertical vertical flipping cv2 dot in show flipping frame 2 uh, I'll take it from the other screen then let's do the horizontal one and you can see it's like mirror effect okay finally the last thing that we need now is how to save the video so for the video it's a bit more complex than for the images first we need to define a codec so we need to use for cc equals cv2 dot video rider underscore for cc asterisk then x read so here there are many different codecs it's not important now to know the differences X, XVID is the most common and later out equals CV2 dot video wider then we need to define the name of the file that we want to save in this case we will call flipped red panda dot avi so be sure that it's avi if you put mp4 it doesn't work because we are processing the images and for this codec we need to save the avi format then comma for cc then we need to define the frame per second and in this case let's say 25 and and the size of the video and the size of this video is 640 of width, um, of width and 360 of height if you don't know the size i will show you how to know the size really simple first i need to oh, okay. for the size you need just to get the shape of the image so we will print frame dot shape and here for each frame it's 360 is the height, 640 is the width, and 3 are the channels of the colors. Not important to know what are these channels at the moment, we will see later on. So, here's the size of the video. We don't need to print this anymore. And finally, we need to write out.write. frame 2 so we define here our recorder and again here we take this right and we want to write the frame 2 not the frame 1 and here out dot release And we can we can read the video at the same time it's writing the file here is the folder you can see flipping red panda 
now I don't need to see it all and here we have part of the video because it's writing only until where we are showing it 